What's up? It's Matt here with Flight Sim Guides. In this video, we're going to be looking at cables. All right, so what cables do you need to build a flight simulator? Which ones are needed? Which ones are not? Which ones come with the stuff and which ones don't? So uh, the biggest things that you're going to need is HDMI cables, USB-C cables, USB-B cables, and USB-A cables. And uh, you probably will want the cables with uh, some kind of higher data transfer. So like a USB 3.0, 3.1, 3.2, whatever they come in. Whatever it is, it starts with a 3 and it goes up from there. So that's what you're going to be looking at. We're going to take a quick look. You can get all this crap on Amazon um, for what you don't get. So uh, lucky for you, most of the peripherals that you buy will come with the USB-B cable that you need. So the USB-B, let's take a quick look at what that is. Some people are like, USB-B, what are you talking about, Matt? So the USB-A is going to be this uh, end right here. So you're, it's a normal USB. It's the one that you plug in and go, dang it, why didn't it go in? And then you flip it around and it still doesn't work. Then you got to flip it back around a third time and then it goes in. It's the one that you're used to using every, probably every single day, right? So uh, that's that end. And the other end is this end. That's your USB-B. Most of your peripherals. A lot of, I think pretty much every one of my US, uh, one of my, I'm pretty sure that every one of my RSG or real sim gear peripherals, that'd be the 530, the 430, the G5s, uh, and probably the, uh, the autopilot, all that stuff. It has this end on it. Now, the good news is that all of that stuff came with this cable. Now, I'm sure that I, I don't know the quality of the cable that it came with, but they're all still working, so they're probably okay, but... If you need a different size, depending on where you have it in relation to your computer, you may need to buy other cables. You might need a longer cable. You might need a higher quality cable. So that's what we're here doing this video for is so that you can get an idea of what it is that you need. Why would you need this cable? Uh, that kind of a thing. So that's what you're looking for. I want to cover down on a higher quality cables and you're probably going to want to look for these nylon cables like this. So it's going to be uh, very similar to this. This might be slightly different from that, but they come in, uh, they're, they're a lot more durable. Um, you don't have to wrap them up perfectly um, and they wrap up, but they do wrap up pretty nicely. So I could sit here, I could take this cable and wrap this up really nicely and it would be pretty tight. Now, once you get all of your cables, you're probably going to want like some split loom tubing kind of like this uh, that you can use to organize your cables. Otherwise, you're literally just going to have cables running everywhere. Uh, if you get something like this, it's kind of cool. You can get them normally in black. You can get them in white. This particular one came in like a kind of a black and red, which was, I, I thought, pretty cool look. Um, I just did a quick search. I was hoping maybe it would pop up, but it did not. But they're, they're, they're in here. You can go through and do, do some find on this. And I will even put links down below so that you can see uh, where to find those. Okay? Keep yourself organized. You're going to have a lot of cables. You don't want your desk or the back of your desk or the cable run to look like crap. So you're going to want to try to nail this stuff down and make it look halfway decent when you're done. Now, barely ever are you going to see a USB-A end like this. You're hardly ever going to see one of these ends going off to another version of its same self. You're not going to see that. So you'll see these going to the B ends, which most of those, like I said earlier, come with whatever it is that you're buying. Pretty much every, I think pretty much everything that I purchased that was connected to this came with that. Now, in some cases, the peripheral that you're connecting to may have a USB-C like this, and on the other end, it's going to be USB-A, all right? So now, you, most computers, most motherboards, whatever you're connecting into is only going to have one, maybe two USB-C uh, slots or spots on them. So that's this uh, kind of this smaller one here. Uh, a lot of cell phones are using these now. The uh, I think pretty much the entire Android line and maybe maybe the new iPhones Mine's a few years out of date, but I think maybe the new ones are using this. I think the iPads are using these, um, or at least the new ones are. So just make sure that you get what what it is that you need. Again, just like the other cables we talked about, get yourself the one with the uh, with the nylon gauge on there like this. So it, it, it looks nice. It runs well. It folds up really well, um, just like that. Uh, that's a, actually USB-C right there. Um, those are going to be what you want to get, okay? So just make sure that you're finding that. Again, I'll leave links down in the description for everything that we're talking about. Um, there's lengths on here. You can get these pretty short. I've found that sometimes you might need a short one. Sometimes you might need a longer one. You might need to find something that's even as long as 6 to 10 feet. 
depending on how far you're running it, okay? So I ha if your computer is way over in one corner and you got to run those cables up and down and through the back and through a cable run and then through the split tomb lubing and then back up uh, on the back side and to the computer, you might need a cable that's upwards of 10 feet or so. So just keep in mind where your cables are running, how far they're going, and when you have like a batch of wires that are together, that's when you want to use that split split loom tubing. You can put more than one cable in here, so start running these things multiples uh, together, okay? Let's talk about uh, HDMI. HDMI uh, is going to be like this. That's one thing that you really can't expect every one of your devices to come with. They kind of just assume that you have HDMI cords. Some of it does come with HDMI, okay? Most of your stuff will have power cords. If it's something that you bought from somewhere, uh, chances are, I, I don't think there's any one thing that I purchased that didn't have a power cord, but you're going to need a HDMI for a few things. Uh, that mainly is anything that is a screen, anything that's visual. So your computer, your monitors are going to be USB, uh, you are, it's going to be HDMI. So you're going to need HDMI cables for that. Make sure you get a good high quality HDMI cable um, so that you can get the best uh, HDMI video uh, output to your, your monitor. With the USB-C's, you might need USB-C to USB-C. Um, so make sure that, that that is one case where you might actually need USB-C on both ends. So make sure you get those cables uh, like that. Just depends. I think with my touch screen, I do need USB-C. That's the one thing that I do. Uh, one of the few things that I do plug into USB-C on the computer. And so if it's something that's going to be higher in demand uh, when it comes to power and data, you're going to want to plug that into the one of one one or two spots where you can actually plug in USB-C on the computer side. So you can get all of, all of your powered USB hubs uh, on here. I'll leave links for the ones that I think are the better ones. So what you're going to want is one similar similar to this and look for something that's got a, a large amount of reviews and purchases. That way you know that a lot of people are getting this and it has a high rating. So this one's got a 4.5. Look for something for a 4.5 or higher. That way you know, hey, this is probably going to be good. You, you can actually just click the button and it'll actually turn off each of the uh, um, USB ports as needed, uh, which is kind of a cool idea if you need to do it. There's not always a reason to do that, but if you need to reset something without unplugging it, which I do a lot of times, you might want to just do that. It'll just, it's like you're disconnecting it, but you're not disconnecting it. And when you're disconnecting stuff all the time, it's putting wear and tear on the back side of your devices. So if you can get something like this, it's a much better idea. Okay. Now I've got one that's like a 20. I've got, I've actually got two of these. I've got one with 10 USB plugs and I've got another one with 20 USB plugs on the back or ports on the back side of it. Make sure you're getting, you see how this says USB 3.0. That's what you want. You don't want the 2.0. You don't want 2.5. You want 3.0 or above that way you're getting the most data transfer out of these USB a plugs okay let's make sure that you're getting the right thing I'll leave links for these down in the description so you guys have everything uh, that you guys need here's a quick bonus so if you're on Amazon anyway um, you're probably gonna want some type of a cable uh, management system um, in retrospect I kind of wish that I had gone this route and gotten uh, some kind of a uh, like a basket that you can hang on the back of the uh, the desk I like these um, popular brand pick. The Vivo here uh, is probably good. I don't, and for, for what it's worth, I don't have one of these, but I could only imagine it probably would have been a better choice. Again, in retrospect, I like what I have, but it's not great for, for going back and redoing stuff. So get something that you can get access to without having to flip your whole desk upside down and, and go, go back in there and having to redo everything. Okay. So, or a basket. I think, honestly, I think a basket like this would probably be pretty simplistic and probably be easy, especially one that you can clamp. I really love the clamping system. Okay, so I hope that you guys have found this helpful. Uh, let me know what questions, comments you guys have down in the comments. Uh, if you guys are doing something completely different or there was a cable that I completely missed out of this where you have any questions, let me know. Uh, and I will hopefully catch up with you guys in another video. All right, see hey, if you haven't already done so, head over to EliteSimBuild.com, grab a copy of our Home Flight Simulator resource guide. Do that thing where you click the button, give us your email address, and we will send you a copy of our simulator guides where you can get the resource list, the avionics reviews, a panel blueprint. So that way you guys can send that off to your panel guy. 
get all the parts and pieces that you need. You'll know exactly what software to pick up so you can get your Cessna 172 flight simulator built today.